Hey guys, my name is Gina Polnev, aka Little Ruski. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. On this channel, I post flexibility routines and stretching content, cooking videos, story times, and honestly, just whatever my heart desires because this is my world, so welcome. Anyways, I have a really exciting video for you guys because we are doing last minute Halloween costume ideas and basically these are old things that you can literally find around in your closet, in your house, whatever. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna show you some amazing, fun and easy costumes using things that I already have in my closet. I literally bought nothing for this video, so before we start, let's talk about some of the basics. If you don't already know, you can literally be any animal, angel, demon, whatever, and it takes like two seconds. You just gotta have a black leotard, maybe some shorts if you're feeling like it, and just some ears, which you can literally buy at the 99 cent store. If you haven't seen my Halloween spooky basket video, I definitely recommend checking that out because you can buy so much spooky scary skeleton thingies at the 99 cent store and you have the perfect look. Super, super easy, right? And aside from that, there's so many different ways to elevate your costume with makeup. Just so I'm not doing my makeup a million times for each look, I just went with something basic. If you have a shirt similar to this, this is a Donnie Darko sweater that my friend made and didn't want any more, so I gladly took it off her hands. But if you're really good at makeup, I'm not, as you can literally tell by my wings, I'm not good at doing lines, but if you are really good at doing makeup, you can have like a skull face and you can be a skeleton, sexy skeleton or just a skeleton, and that's an amazing look right there. So let's start off with our next look, bam, one look already completed. Super easy. The second look we're gonna do involves a robe, preferably red, and if you can already guess, we are going to be my least favorite person, one of my least favorite people on this planet, I would never be him, but this is a really easy look to do, so do it by all means, but I don't respect this gentleman. He's not a gentleman. I don't respect this guy, but we're gonna be doing Hugh Hefner, so all you need is a robe. If you wanna be Scandi, which is my favorite type of look, you can get your little bra, your little shorts, you can do black bra. I have this really pretty burgundy red bra, so I'm gonna be doing this one, and then we're gonna put it on. Ready? And... Bam, now we're in costume. So what makes this look so iconic is his famous little sailor hat, but I don't have one. You probably have one, so bam, already done. I do, however, have this uh, Jose Cuevo hat, which I love, and I feel like it works just as well. Let's see. Oh, Hugh Hefner who, baby? Look number two is already complete. Robe, hat, my little bra. If you want to tie her up, tie her up. I feel like it's more infamous if I tie her up. Cool, so you have your second costume, Hugh Hefner. Now, we are going to be using this robe yet again because robes are so versatile. And guess who we're going to be, ready? One of the most iconic looks, Mrs. Claus or Mr. Claus if you're a man watch or... Well, I mean, I guess gender doesn't really matter, but <laughs> I'm Mrs. Claus. So this is such a cute look. Not a lot of people do Santa Claus for Halloween, and so this is quite perfect. Third look, already complete. So cute. Now, the third look is another one that we're gonna be using with this robe, because like I said, robes are so versatile. So what we're gonna do is take this, open her up, expose the body, and I'll be back in one moment. My third look for you is a boxer, super easy. I'm wearing a black sports bra, black shorts to match. I happen to already have gloves because I've been a boxer prior. If you don't have gloves, you can get some masking tape or like any kind of tape, wrap it around your hands as like a kind of situation, right? Super easy, super fun. And you can even play around with this and be like Jake Paul for Halloween. Make these look like his like little shorts that he wore or any famous boxer who you're a fan of. You can literally be them if you want, super easy, right? You can even just like get a little piece of paper and write Jake Paul. Hee hee ha ha, super funny. Bam, that's what, my fourth look? That's already four looks, and we only used this, a bra, a shorts, a shorts, shorts. For my next look, we are going to be a race car driver. So if you have anything that's black and white checkered, you're perfect. Black and white checkered shorts, skirt, bra, whatever. I happen to have this really cute swimsuit top, so I'm gonna be doing this with the black shorts, and then I have a little race car jacket that I'm gonna show you right 
Woo, that was so fast. So this is my little race car girl look. You can either be a race car driver or what are those girls called that have like the flags and they're like, go, right? That girl. So super easy look, bam, bam. You could even be the girlfriend of a race car driver for Halloween by wearing a jacket like this. Super easy, fun and fresh look. Again, I think it's like the fifth or sixth look. I honestly lost track of count. So we're just gonna pretend like it's the sixth but hold me accountable. So for my next costume idea, we're gonna be doing a iconic duo and you can even make this a trio. So we're gonna start off with my queen, Kim Possible, obviously super easy. You need the military pants, a black long sleeve shirt and maybe like a fanny pack or something. And then we'll be doing Shigo, which is literally my favorite character, such a baddie. And I literally have the perfect look for this. I don't even remember where I bought this, but any kind of like green fiery top or any neon green fiery bottoms. I actually had matching shorts for this. I'm not sure where they are to be honest, but she wears like a full body suit. So I think black leggings would be perfect with this, right? So iconic. I'm gonna put them on super easy. So I didn't have a black fanny pack, like a plain black one. So I'm using this little Maui and Sons one. I have this glove for pole dancing, which I actually don't even need, but it makes pole dancing a lot easier. This shirt's actually a lot longer. However, Kim Possible wears a crop shirt, so I just folded her, done and done. Kim Possible, who? Me. Exactly. And now I'm Shigo. I'm keeping the glove on because very much so Shigo vibes. Also have this green bandana and Shigo has like a ball of fire that comes out of her hands. And so I'm just pretending like this is my ball of fire, so. Boom, I actually came kind of lucky with this little Shigo look. Kim Possible, Shigo, and Ron. You can do Ron, and then Ron has his little naked mole rat, so you guys can have like a little toy naked mole rat, and that would be so perfect. So for my next look, I'm gonna be doing the Powerpuff Girls, an iconic trio, my favorite. Because I'm blonde, I'm gonna be doing bubbles, but it's literally the same thing. And I don't really have that much blue, so I'm gonna be wearing this like little baby blue light shirt, which matches, I feel like quite perfectly, because she wears baby blue, and then black shorts, her iconic pigtails, and then maybe I will try to figure out something else. Oh, and also obviously, White socks, pretend like I'm wearing long white socks, and then little black shoes. So that would be perfect. So now we're gonna be doing that. And, okay, so I actually totally forgot that I had this set, and I think this is way more perfect than the what I was gonna originally wear, but I also have these really, really cute blue see-through pants that my friend Amy got me, which are honestly a little scandy, but this would have been super cute too with like this little blue top. If you look at photos, they're blue, black, blue, so color, color, and then black. So I have this black belt. If I had more time, I would try to find a bigger black band, but this is last minute Halloween costume, so no. Anyways, so bam, you got the iconic pigtails, and there you go, Powerpuff Girl. It would be really iconic if you did this with your two other friends and you guys were all Powerpuff Girls and then you had a fourth person and they were the mad scientist, right? Wouldn't that be such an iconic, not trio, not duo, quadruo? Such an iconic quadruo, yes! So for my next look, we will be doing two looks with one costume-ish. We're gonna be doing Mother Nature and Poison Ivy. I don't have any green vines, so we're just gonna pretend like I have green vines. If you look at my ceiling, I'll show you guys in a sec, I have flowers all over. So for Mother Nature, I would literally just pair it with these green shorts that I happen to have, this green tutu. If you want, you can wear like green pants, green tights, like green anything. And then a cute little either black or floral top. I would definitely do floral for Mother Nature or just like glue a bunch of flowers to yourself. And then Poison Ivy. You just gotta have a little vine. So many people have vines, so I'm sure you could borrow one from someone. Okay, so like super basic, but I actually have a perfect floral shirt. I would pair it with like green shorts or something. And then I have a bunch of flowers. I'm about to show you in a sec. You can get like a little flower vine and just like wrap it all over yourself. And then I have these like butterflies. You can wrap those around yourself. Let's pretend like this is my crown. If you have extra time, you can buy fake flowers from the 99 cent store. 
If you look at my ceiling, I have a bunch of them. So if I were to be doing Mother Nature, I would have just taken a couple of these off and glued them to my head and to my clothing. And bam, Mother Nature. How easy, right? So now I will be showing you how I would do Poison Ivy, which is quite different, but same like vibe, green on green. I need to find something over here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so like I said, I don't have a green vine, so let's just pretend this flower vine is a green vine, but I would just do like a green on green kind of situation, or you can do, I happen to have this other bra that's like velvety and has flowers and grain, so kind of like a poison ivy situation. I actually wore this for St. Patrick's Day, these green, this green little tutu and green shorts. Here goes your poison ivy, and if you had vines, you can wrap them all around your legs and make yourself some cute little shoes and glue some vines to your shoes. And Poison Ivy is such a hot costume, why wouldn't you wanna be her? So for my next look, we're going to be doing the iconic Sandy from Greece because I love her. So this is another really easy one. She wears like an off the shoulder kind of shirt and black leather pants. If you don't have black leather pants, you can literally just wear black leggings. And boo. So I actually did have black leather pants. She wears tight ones. I don't have any tight ones, so they're a little loose. But you and your hubby or whoever, he can be, they can be John Travolta. And bam, you got a whole little grease look. So cute. So for our next look, we'll be doing another really easy one. If you have a suit or you know someone with a suit or you know someone with a big leather jacket, you can literally do a men in black. <laughs> Matrix and anything along that line. So I'm gonna show you really quick how I'm gonna do that Okay, so I have no idea where my big black sunglasses are but for this look obviously you want some big black sunglasses and If you want to be super cute don't wear a shirt just wear a bra so you have this little like reveal I'm also matching it with black biker shorts and bam. I'm literally from the matrix and I'm literally men in black so iconic look Next, we will be doing Adam's Family, which is another super easy look. And I literally don't have a collar or a black shirt that really would work, but we're literally gonna make it work and I'll show you how. Also, I literally had a belt for this jacket, but I don't know where it is, so I'm literally using leggings. Like, <laughs> I'm literally using a pair of leggings as a belt. So just goes to show you that you can literally make it work if you want to. So, <laughs> oh, I literally ended up having a black shirt and a collar. I'm actually wearing a dress over a dress and I'm also wearing this dress backwards because the neck made it look really weird, but literally iconic braids, dress, dress. And if you and your family or whoever want to do the whole Adams Family, that's another super iconic duo, trio, quadruo, how many you owe. <laughs> And look, easy, bam, bam. And now I am, I don't even know the the names of the characters, wow. But you get the look, you get the gist. But y'all, I literally have so many ideas. There's like over a hundred, but you can literally be Carrie. You can buy a really cheap long gown at Goodwill or literally any thrift store and then just squirt blood all over yourself. Or if you have a dress that you're willing to ruin, then by all means do that. But uh, you can be a clown, another super easy one to do. You can be the sun and the moon gold and silver another great duo you can be a rave girl why not right you can be spring breakers if you and your friends will have like neon neon and then you can just buy a ski mask off of amazon for like ten dollars you can be cowgirls another super easy look you can be a schoolgirl, witches i saw really cute playing cards Another super easy fun look you can do. You can be a witch, obviously. You can be a priest, same thing. If you have like a cross, bam, this is literally a look that you can do for that. You can be a hippie or a genie in the bottle if you have those like fun pants that everyone has that make your booty look good. Bam, that's another one. You could be Regina George. If you have a white tank top and a purple bra, you can just cut yourself some pepperoni nipples and then wear pink, easy. You can be a prisoner if you have orange pants or orange shirt, orange shirt, black pants, whatever. Super easy look as well. That's, that's pretty much it. Like I did everything on this list and I said everything that was on this list, but I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope this helped you figure out your life helped you figure out your little Halloween situation. I hope you guys have so much fun. 
Please stay safe. Please make sure you're not buying Nestle products because they steal water from third world countries, which is not cool, not nice, especially for a multi-billion dollar company. Uh, do better, Nestle. Thank you. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Please make sure to give this video a like. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. And little Ruski is out. Bye, guys. Happy Halloween. Love you. Mwah.